welcome back to the Quinise Show. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Quinise. Make sure you guys are commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let's keep growing this family. We're on a road to 100, and we're doing amazing as well as make sure y'all hitting that post notification bell because your girl is dropping a video once a week for y'all promptly. And without further ado, let's get into this vlog because we headed to Buckeye, y'all. We're on the I-10, y'all. The I-10 is an expressway in Arizona. They call it a freeway. I call it expressway. Comment down below what y'all call y'all expressways in y'all city. Um, we're basically, it takes anywhere from Peoria to Buckeye within 30 to 45 minutes, depending on traffic. On this particular day, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. So we made it to Buckeye in 30 minutes. Um, which was nice. The traffic wasn't bad at all, but just make sure I say nothing else. Make sure y'all have insurance anywhere y'all drive, but especially in Arizona, there's literally an accident a day on this I-10 on this expressway and it is be crazy. It'd be a mess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the little drive and I'll come back on when we get off. So now we're coming off the expressway. This is Watson Road. Um, Watson Road is a major street road, whatever you want to call it, in Buckeye. It's where everything really is um, in Buckeye. Everybody, it doesn't matter where you live in Buckeye, everybody comes out to Watson Road. That's where majority of the shopping happens. All the restaurants is, is on this main road. Um, Buckeye is up and coming, so it's a lot more farm life out here um is one of the reasons why i move personally is because i'm not ready for that type of life yet i'm still a city girl um and i just wanted something a little bit more that had this is more rural area and i wanted more city life um and that's why i end up moving to peoria <music> So like I said, you guys, Watson Road was a major road. That's where everything is. Like I said before, Walmart, Dollar Tree, KFC, Circle K, QT, Cracker Barrel, Burger King, Walgreens, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, Wingstop. I mean, the list can go on and on, um, just to name a few. But as you can see us driving, um, you'll see some of them um, as we're going on. So like I said, yes, Buckeye, I would recommend, but you have to keep in mind that it is a rural area. Um, it's like farm town. That's what I call it. As you can see, there's nothing past Watson Road. There's nothing else here but land. Um, I mean, if you're okay with traveling out, venturing out for like to uh, come into Phoenix, which is like a good 45 minutes from Buckeye to an hour, I want to say, depending on how deep in Phoenix you go. Um I know that if you go to Avondale, that's like 20 minutes. Um, if you want to go to Goodyear, that's like another 15 minutes. Um, so it pretty much goes, I want to say, if you're going to Buckeye, it's like Phoenix, Tolleson, uh, Avondale, Goodyear, then Buckeye. Um, well, Verado, then Buckeye, because Verado is another little town that I need to actually do a vlog of too, so you guys can see. But as you can see, there's nothing out here. It's up and coming. Um, if you don't mind not being around a lot of stuff, I would definitely check out Buckeye. And the price of living, I feel like now it's getting up there because everywhere else is going to shit, right? So now it's getting up there. But when I first came here, the price of living is way cheaper. It still is, I feel like, compared to like living in the city where I'm at now. 
So we're actually headed towards my old apartment complex. Um, I don't know why we just sort of like that. Um, where we used to stay and I stayed there for a year. Um, we're taking the back road there uh, to get there. I believe this is Watson Road, if I'm not mistaken, um, that we're heading down still. And I will come back on when we get there. So we just turned, um, there's a Walmart distribution here. A lot of employees in Buckeye, I feel like work here. There's a lot of factory, there's up and coming factories. I'm not gonna say there's a lot of factories. They're building a lot of factories here. Um, but Walmart has been here, I believe for a little bit. Um, those houses on the right are in subdivisions. I noticed by living in Arizona, a lot of the houses here are in subdivisions. You may, in the country, you may see them not in subdivisions. Some of the people have their own land and stuff like that. So they have their houses outside of that. But if you don't mind dealing with um, living in a subdivision, um, they do have a HOA, which is the housing association, and they have their own rules and stuff like that. Certain things you can't do. I'll get into another video talking about that um, because I was looking into getting a house as well. So um, they come with a bunch of rules and stuff like that. So we're almost at the apartment complex, you guys. So once you get off the I-10, it does take another 15 minutes to get to the apartment complex because of the fact that I live downtown Buckeye. Yes, they had a downtown, surprisingly. Um, but this was my neck of the woods, you guys, for a year. Um, they had some bomb-ass tacos right here on the right. They had $2 tacos. I stayed up in there. They opened up at 6 o'clock in the morning and then closed to 10 at night. So I I loved it there. Those tacos were so, so fucking bomb. Um, this is like a little mini work to the right as well. There is a preschool on the left. Um, as well as there's a lot of body shops that people were running, you know, their own businesses and stuff like that. And then at the light, there's going to be, um, on the right, there's going to be the postal service, the post office, and then to the left, that's the mini mark that we used to go through. And you guys at that mini mark on the left, they have a drive through so you can get your liquor through the drive through You ain't even got to go into the store. Anything you wanted through the drive through they will bring it. Um, and you just pay through the drive through like you ordering food. And that's why I was trying to show you guys the, um... The little mini mark that I used to stay at, but that I'd stay going to. And then that's the post office, like I said before. Okay, guys, we've made it to Riverwood Apartments. Um, I lived here for a year. Um, they do have two and three bedroom apartments as well as they do take section eight. So if you know anybody, comment down below, let them know that Riverwood does take the housing choice voucher, um, is known as section eight and you have to get it through, um, Maricopa County. That's the one that they take at this apartment complex. Um, the cars that you see out in the sun, those are sunspots. You can pretty much park anywhere. But the cars that you see underneath the covered parking, those are assigned. Um, when I first moved here, they didn't even have assigned parking. But a situation took place that I'm going to save for another video for story time and let y'all know what happened to me there um, is why we have assigned parking now. Um, I don't know if I get it in this clip. I do apologize. But to the left, there's a dog park. There is a playground, and I mean that with the most intensity playground right there for the kids that they said that was a playground for the kids they did have a basketball court they as well had a community pool that we were able to use that was available to us 7 a.m to 10 p.m um seven days a week which was nice so this was home you guys riverwood was home for us for a year um like i said before they do take section eight and they take regular rent as well so it's just another apartment complex to check out if you're interested
Now we're headed to the boys' school, um, their old school that they went to. Um, that's where we're headed now. So literally their school was like, what, three, four minute drive to the, from the house. Um, I believe this is the preschool, if I'm not mistaken, for the smaller kids. Um, this is where the smaller kids, this is where my younger son would have went legend if we were still out here. Um, I believe I'm gonna take the long way, but that's a school straight ahead. Um, but I believe I'm gonna try to go in the front so you guys can see the front of the school and stuff like that. But yeah, the, the smaller kids went to the school on the right. It was like a little preschool. Um, and then when we come up to the stop sign, I'll make a left and then you guys will see the boys' school. And yes, they were transitioning in and out of classes that were outside, which was nice. The boys liked that. Um, I really do like Buckeye School District um, outside of the living situation we were in, but yeah. So this is the boys' school on the left. Yes, all that is Buckeye Elementary. My boys attended their second and seventh grade. So I really did like that school. So we're pretty much just driving around Buckeye now. Um, we're heading back up towards the expressway, the I-10, to head back home to Peoria. Um, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Especially comment and let us know other cities you want to see, as well as what you want us to vlog. I'll definitely check that out for you guys. Um, so I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So this is all downtown Buckeye. I just want to let you guys know what area you guys are looking in, but this is all downtown Buckeye. gonna go ahead and end the buckeye vlog here guys thanks so much for watching make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video